Hello everyone, this is Steve. We're going to find a couple inverse functions in this video. So here's our first function, h of x equals 1 over x plus 2. It is a one-to-one -one function, so it does have an inverse. So the first thing we'll do is we will change the h of x to a y. And the reason we do that is so we can actually find the inverse by swapping x and y. Now that is the most important step in finding the inverse, but to finish this up we have to solve it for y. So we're going to take this x equals 1 over y plus 2 and get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by y plus 2. That will give us on the left hand side x times y plus 2 and on the right hand side it will just give us a 1. Now there's a couple ways you can go about finishing this problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by x so that's going to give me y plus 2 equals 1 over x. Then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, which gives me 1 over x minus 2. If you had chosen to distribute on this step right here and then solve for y, you would have gotten an other answer that is equivalent to this answer. You might have gotten y equals 1 minus 2x all over x. These answers are actually equivalent to each other, but no matter which one you decide to go with is your final answer, and they're both correct as I said, you do need to use proper inverse notation. So we either need to write h inverse of x equals 1 over x minus 2, or we need to write h inverse of x equals 1 minus 2x over x. Either one of those is correct. You don't need both. Okay, let's do the second one. Well, here it is, and this is one of those trickier ones. Let me just give myself some more room here, because we've got two x's in it. Let's get started. Change p of x to y. Swap y with both x's, so it's going to look like this. x equals 2y plus 6 over y minus 3. We want to eliminate the fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y minus 3. If I multiply both sides by y minus 3, the left-hand side picks up a y minus 3, and the right-hand side loses its y minus 3 in the denominator. Then distribute on the left-hand side, giving you xy minus 3x equals 2y plus 6. Now we want to get everything with a y on one side and everything without a y on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 3x to both sides, and I'm also going to subtract 2y from both sides. And if you do that, you will get xy minus 2y equals 3x plus 6. We did that, so on the left-hand side, we can factor out a y. And then we divide both sides by x minus 2. And the only thing left to do at this point is to write it in proper inverse notation. Our original function was p of x, so our final answer is going to be p inverse of x equals 3x plus 6 all over x minus 2. That's it, everyone. That's the inverse function. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.